Prince Andrew's lawyers claimed a woman who accused him of sexually assaulting her has a prior agreement releasing the Duke and others from any and all potential liability. Virginia Giffray claimed she was trafficked by Andrew's former friend, and convicted sex offender, Jeffrey Epstein, to have sex with the Duke when she was aged 17 and a minor under U.S. law. Royal biographer Angela Levin has urged the 61-year-old prince to come out and deal with the case. Take a look at Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Amazon's best-selling books in Royal Historical Biographies Learn all about the secretive personal lives and history of the royal family as you've never seen them before in Amazon's best-selling Royal Historical Biographies This box contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more, top deals, you deal brought to you by speaking to Talcradio, Ms. Levin claimed, I think the public is getting really fed up and believe that he should actually come out, deal with it, and then move on. It's being drawn out with things that one really dislikes. It's on technical points rather than actually the allegation. Andrew has rejected all claims made by Ms. Giffray. The Duke has hired a top lawyer with a long history of working with the rich and famous to represent him in his civil sexual assault case. The Duke has recruited Andrew B. Brettler to fight allegations made by Ms. Giffray. Mr. Brettler, a part of the law firm Lavely & Singer, was listed as one of Hollywood's top 100 attorneys by The Hollywood Reporter in 2019, the firm's website said. He has represented the likes of that 70s show star Danny Masterson, producer and director Brian Singer, and musician Ryan Adams, The Hollywood Reporter said. The attorney has carved out a successful career defending allegations arising from the hashtag MeToo movement. Ms. Giffray may have to wait until 202 before she has her day in court and is able to repeat her allegations before a judge, a legal expert has warned. She is seeking unspecified damages but there is speculation the sum could be in the millions of dollars. David Green, a senior partner with law firm Edwin Co., said about the final trial, it'd be surprised if it took place next year and it'd be surprised if it took place the year after, 2023. It's a highly complex issue and I think it will take quite some time to come in front of the court. The Duke does not face the prospect of an extradition hearing as this only applies to criminal charges and not civil cases. Andrew has stepped back from public duties amid the fallout from his relationship with Epstein. It came after a 2019 Newsnight interview which saw him attempt to draw a line under his relationship with Epstein, who died in prison two years ago, but it ended up being dubbed a car crash.